Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, it's getting very serious on the floor of the Senate. What? Grab some coffee. Are you serious, John McCain? Well, he's, quote, I repeat again, the senator from Kentucky is now working for Vladimir Putin. That is the words of John McCain in reference to Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Um, Yesterday, Arizona Senator John McCain accused the fellow Republican Senator Rand Paul of working for the Russian President Vladimir Putin. Senator McCain was speaking on the Senate floor in support of a piece of legislation that would allow uh, the country of Montenegro to join the uh, NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or to join NATO. That's the country of Montenegro. Uh, When McCain noted the objection from Senator Rand Paul, McCain suggested that if Senator Paul opposed the bill, He was achieving the objectives of Vladimir Putin. If they object, they are now carrying out the desires and ambitions of Vladimir Putin. And I do not say that lightly. McCain continued. A few short moments after, Senator McCain had asked for uh, unanimous consent to pass the legislation. The Kentucky lawmaker noted his objections to the bill before suddenly leaving the room. I note the senator from Kentucky is leaving the floor without justification or any rationale for the action he has just taken, McCain said after Senator Paul had left. That is really remarkable that a senator blocking a treaty that is supported by the overwhelming number, perhaps 98 at least of his colleagues, would come to the floor and object and walk away. The only conclusion you can draw when he walks away is he has no justification for his objection to having a small nation be part of NATO that is under assault from the Russians, McCain said. So I repeat again, the senator from Kentucky is now working for Vladimir Putin. What? Now this is an article written by my son, Bart Charles Begley. He is the author of this piece of... uh, news article as he captures this on the floor of the U.S. Senate. Uh, This is huge. Montenegro, a little bitty country, wants to be a part of NATO, looking for some protection. They're scared to death. They're going to be taken over by Russia. They're not the only country afraid. Georgia's afraid. Uh, uh, Estonia, uh, Latvia, Lithuania, all of them. Uh, and of course, Eastern Ukraine. So we're going to see how this all plays out. Uh, John McCain, very, very adamant, calling his colleague a traitor. And uh, I don't know if that's being a, a traitor or what, but um, that's what he called him for objecting to this vote. I'll be back with more current world events and uh, how it relates to biblical prophecy, but we're certainly seeing unbelievable behaviors on the Senate floor. Um, the contention, uh, it's, it's very contentious. It's very, 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 very volatile now. Our nation's government is shaken. I'll be back with more. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.